Fate un passo verso di me e io farò dieci passi verso di voi. Questo è uno dei primi messaggi dato da Bhagavan ai suoi devoti. Noi, i devoti del centro Sri Satya Sai Baba di Toronto, abbiamo fatto i primi dieci passi verso Swami organizzando un pellegrinaggio sacro a Putta Party per i devoti del centro. Abbiamo sperimentato la verità di questo messaggio quando nostro Signore ha risposto donandoci il suo amore e le sue benedizioni, con una tale abbondanza che abbiamo sentito la necessità di condividere l'intera storia del pellegrinaggio fin dal suo inizio. Il pensiero di portare i devoti del centro in pellegrinaggio a Prashanti Nilayam era stato espresso nel gennaio del 2000 durante l'incontro SAI spirituale dell'educazione. L'idea venne accolta con sorrisi e grande entusiasmo perché il desiderio di una gita era la meta dei bambini e dei giovani del centro. Spedimmo la prima richiesta di permesso a Swami il 2 settembre 2000, è davvero una data molto significativa per noi. Swami accettò e benedire le nostre richieste non solo una volta ma due volte, 17 e 19 settembre. Il primo gruppo di devoti partì a Prashanti il 2 gennaio 2001. Nel momento in cui seppimo che Swami aveva accettato la nostra richiesta, iniziammo ad intensificare i preparativi. L'intento del centro era di rendere questo viaggio il più gioioso e spensierato possibile, per cui vennero formati diversi comitati per pianificare tutti gli aspetti del pellegrinaggio. Un aspetto integrale fu quello di mantenere il focus del viaggio a livello spirituale. The center was determined to ensure that every member felt they were part of this pilgrimage. We are going as a center of love, was a resounding message echoed by the president. The center kept saying all along, all of us are going on that trip to Prashanti. And today, Brother Satya Prodan really touched my heart because I think he really, really showed us 
it is not just the few who are going. It requires everyone to be in a unified way, whether we're going physically, through our thoughts, through our mental uh, feelings of feeling Prashanti. But if anyone in the center has some misgiving that they're not on the trip, Swami will not accept us. We are going as a center. Some of you, he said, are going to have the inner view remaining back. Some of us over there will have his physical glance with the hope of getting that inner view as well. Once again, the session went with the support of all the center devotees coming out. You have made this trip something that will always remain in the hearts of this center. On Sunday, July 8th, a special program was planned for the entire membership of the center. This program included Ganesh Puja, 108 names of Swami, writing letters to him, and the signing of a card that was to carry the center's gift to our Lord. We felt a deep sense of unity and love pervading the entire atmosphere. Here we can see the first group of devotees that left earlier to make arrangements prior to the arrival of the larger group. were leaving on July the 13th. Pearson International Airport was buzzing with the name of Sai. Fellow devotees wished the pilgrims bon voyage. A large group of travelers was hosted at Brother Dayal's home. During this short stay, the devotees rested and had the opportunity to enjoy a tabla recital. Thank you. 
brothers Dial, Deo, and Chaitan welcomed us at the Puttaparthi airport. Devotees were transported in three buses to the abode of the highest peace. The tired but truly excited devotees arrived in the ashram and were welcomed with open arms. This was a magical moment. shared in the excitement. The devotees made full use of this time to get settled and do some sightseeing, or as we like to call it, sightseeing. Visits to the Super Speciality Hospital, Chaitanya Jyoti Museum, Music College, and Gokulam were just to name a few. Everyone was in awe by the beauty of all the sights. We have another uh, institute which has been recently inaugurated, uh, which is situated in Whitefield uh, near Bangalore. Uh, this institute uh, started operations in November 91. Uh, the total period which was taken to design and construct this hospital was less than 12 months. Uh, the design stage itself took about 5 months and in 7 months the structure had been put up, all the equipment had been put in and uh, the operations uh, started. We started with the cardiology department on day one and then we added the urology and the ophthalmology which are now all the three departments are functioning. Uh, in the cardiology department we deal with uh, all the cardiothoracic illnesses uh, we do the operations. We do not do any heart transplant here. In the urology department we have also got nephrology uh, we deal with the diseases of the kidney and the urinary system 
and uh, we uh, do not do kidney transplant or maintenance dialysis at, at the moment. Uh, in the ophthalmology department, we deal with all the illnesses of the eyes, but substantially it is cataract operations at the moment. We also visited the local Sakusai school. How are you? How are you? Fine. Sai seeing in Puttaparthi would have been incomplete without a visit to the birthplace of our beloved Lord, which is now adorned with a beautiful Shiva temple. A common belief is that circling the samadhi of Swami's parents is spiritually uplifting. Not only the ashram, but even the Hillview Stadium is surrounded with many exquisite statues such as that of Lord Hanuman and Lord Krishna.
opportunity to sing his praises. Devotees offered pageants at the old Prashanti Mandir in the village. to have dinner together. We had the North Indian canteen all to ourselves with a special menu. It was time to say our goodbyes. Brother Dayal expressed our gratitude to all who helped us in the ashram. Without their help, we would have been lost. We would like to also call upon Mukesh Patel. what it was. The afternoon of July 27 is etched in our heart.
Suga, stand up. Suga, stand up.
It's a divine blessing to have had an appointment with God which lasted for two hours. 
We all assemble in the Prashanti Mandir in His presence. The moments we spent there were the most precious ever. Swami walked amongst us, talked to us, blessed us, and played with us. He materialized an idol of Lord Ganesh. He distributed prashad, vibhuti packets to all, materialized gold necklaces and diamond rings. He lovingly posed for pictures. He blessed us with a divine discourse. And as if all of this was not enough, he even allowed us to sing to him. Here are some excerpts from our beloved Swami's discourse delivered to us during this interview. Boys and girls, Boys and girls, life is highly valuable. You should never waste your life. We have to know its value. Calling ourselves each one a man behaving like animal is not proper. Anger, ego, jealousy, these are animal qualities. Anger, ego, jealousy, these are animal qualities. Love, compassion, sacrifice, truth, this is human quality. Love, compassion, sacrifice, truth or human quality. Sometimes anger comes. Sometimes anger comes. Anger comes. That time, fight it. You fight with anger. I am not dog. I am man. I am not dog. I am man. I am not dog. I am man. Think ten times that the dog will this go. <laughs> when anger comes, Say ten, think ten times, I am not dog, I am man, I am not dog, I am man, I am not dog, I am man. Say ten times, that anger goes. Sometimes confusion. Sometimes confusion sets in. That time, think it. Is it my quality? Not my quality. Then think deep enough. Confusion, is it my quality? No. I am not monkey. I am I am not monkey, I am man. I am not monkey, I am man. Think like that. Think like that when you are confused ten times. I am not monkey, I am man. I am not so monkey, I am man. All bad qualities, complete animal qualities. All bad qualities are animal qualities. Wherever you go, you go. I am man, I am man, I am man. You go anywhere, but you behave like a man. Call yourself man. Man Wherever you go, you should act like man. But calling yourself a man, you should not act like animal. Easiest of all paths God is in me. In me, in me, Is the feeling and experience that God is in me. God is in me. God is in me. Second, I am God. The second, I am God. I am God. I am God. Third, I am everything. Third step, I am everything. 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 God is everywhere. God is everywhere. But, but, some, the Sarvabhyapi in Bhagavad Gita ki mukka small mukka stanam yuva kudu. God who is all pervasive cannot limit it to a specific place. The easy path, I am God, I am God. This is very good part. The easy path is to feel that I am God, I am God. You become God. Then you become God. Devotees, you have come from long distance. You have come here with the devotions. And you have been showing all things. You have been waiting. You should go filling your hearts with the love of Bhagawan and return. 
Today, we can truly say it was a trip of a lifetime. These memories will be forever cherished in our hearts. We pray that this pilgrimage, this journey of love, may help us all to transform and to grow closer to the divinity within us. <laughs> Heart is there, God seat, and God is coming with you. Coming with you, in you, around you. God is in you, with you, around you. Be always happy. 